Thanks for installing Stackable, a feature-packed WordPress block plugin. In this quick video, I'll teach you how to get up and running with Stackable so you can get started in building your website with our blocks. To start using Stackable, create a new page or post. Then start adding blocks by clicking the plus sign button on the top toolbar of the block editor. This will show you a list of blocks that you can use. You can find Stackable blocks with its pink and purple color at the top. Let's add a columns block, our basic layout building block, and see how we can use it to lay out some content. You can see here that you have some variations to choose from. Select two columns. Now let's make the columns area wider so we can have some space to work with. To do this, click on the leftmost button on the toolbar to select the parent columns block. Then click on the align button on the toolbar and pick full width. Add content on the first column by clicking on the plus box to bring up the block in the searcher. Then search for the heading block. Select Sackable's heading block from the list and type in your heading. Afterwards, press enter to create a new block below your heading and type in your description. After, press enter again. Another way to insert blocks is by typing in the slash key. Type it and it will bring out a list of blocks. Type in button. And then press enter to insert our button block. And there's some text for your button. If you ever need to add another button, click on the main button group block. And a plus icon should appear. Clicking on this will add another button beside your existing one. Now for the second column on the right side, click on the plus box and let's insert an image block. After inserting an image, you will see a placeholder graphic for your image. Click on it to bring up the media library so we can pick our image. Now we have all our content that resembles a basic hero section. We don't have any styling as of the moment, so why don't we add some now? Similar to your native blocks, all of the styling for stackable blocks are done in the inspector panel. If you don't see your inspector, click on this button on the top right of the block editor to open it up. Let's check out the columns block first and see what we can adjust. For the columns block, open the layout tab, and here you will see a number of layout options that you have for your content. Things like column widths, spacing, block width, and some more advanced layout controls. If you click on your inner column block, you'll see that it also has a bunch of layout controls that you can use, including some flexbox options. If you are unsure of what an option does, most of our options have a help tooltip that you can see by hovering your mouse over the option name. For this, let's make the inner block alignment center so our content is aligned with the middle of our image. Let's also add some column spacing so our text isn't too close to the edge. While adjusting, you'll notice that visual guides appear in your block ahead of time so that you'll know what exactly you are adjusting. Next, let's change our heading font to make it look a little more to my personal taste. Click on the heading block and in the style tab under typography, you can see a pencil icon for typography. Click on it to show more specific typography controls. I can also make the font size a little bigger. For now, I think I can leave the other blocks as it is. There, with just a few clicks, we've created a basic hero section. There are a lot more options available in each block that I won't show in this quick getting started guide, but feel free to explore the other tabs and panels of our blocks. Sackable also provides a design library that you can find at the top of your editor. Open it and you can browse our collection of ready-made designs and wireframes. You can easily select one or more designs to quickly insert into your page. Afterwards, you can further adjust the designs to your liking. Stackable blocks work across any theme, so it should work great with the current theme you're using. 
For the quickest theme pairing, you can use the default WordPress theme alongside Sackable to produce some amazing websites. As an added bonus, if you're using a block theme and you have access to the site editor, you can use stackable blocks anywhere on your website and use them to build your headers, footers, 404 pages, and even your archive pages. If you need any help, just check out your Getting Started page for links to more video tutorials, how to contact premium support, and a link to join our active stackable Facebook community.